I've just been criminally assaulted. You have just been what? Criminally assaulted. You know, attacked. No way. You, you, yes, by two lovesick females. Boy, it was awful. I've been on this force for 23 years, and I'm telling you it never happened. Don't tell me it never happened. I was there in person. Impossible. Look, look at me. I'm a mass of clues. Why do they always show up when I'm on duty? Sergeant, I came in here to report a crime. Now, just what are you going to do about it? Urge you to go home and sleep it off. <laughs> All right. All right, that does it. I demand to speak to someone in higher authority. Naturally. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Lieutenant Miller. Uh, Lieutenant, this is, uh... Oh, Pieborn. Calvin Pieborn. I want to file a complaint. Fine. Not really. He claims he was 261 by a couple of females. <laughs> what? He claims he was 261 by a couple of females. Mr. Pieborn, uh, Section 261 of the Penal Code applies only to females. Why? Because it never happened to a man before. <laughs> well, then you'd better change the code. I'll take it from here, Sergeant. Now, uh, where did this so-called crime occur? Uh, Woodland Park, the football field. They nailed me right in the end zone. <laughs> See, I just finished jogging, and I just sat down to rest. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Uh, you want to sit down? Um, yes. Fill this out, name, address, and so forth. Uh-huh. All right. Uh... What I don't understand is, uh, what are you complaining about? Uh, what, what, okay. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Do I call in the shrink? I'm not sure. Lieutenant, I know we're living in crazy times. Let's assume for the moment that it did happen. Okay, first question. Why would any woman want a 261 him? More importantly, why would he complain if they did? He wouldn't. He'd just go home and smile a lot. Maybe he hates girls. Let's read him the riot act and throw him out. In which case, he'll go straight to the newspapers and accuse us of not doing our duty. Who cares? The commissioner. Who wants to, to be, be mayor? mayor? Okay, follow routine procedure. Okay, Lieutenant. Arlene? Uh, this is Calvin. Uh, look, honey, I know you're worried sick because I'm not home yet, but I... You were asleep. <laughs> now, now, listen to me and, and listen good. I'm at the police station. Now, are you sitting down? Well, then sit up. <laughs> but look, Arlene, would you believe that your husband was just assaulted by two lovesick females? Well, why wouldn't you? Look, you're, you're taking this whole thing very... Uh, hang on a second. Uh, how long is this going to take, Lieutenant? Oh, we'll try to clean it up tonight. Tonight. Look, Arlene, this is going to take some time. So uh, as long as you're already up, you might as well come down here and see how the new centurions handle the hot ones. Goodbye. Well, what'd you do? You throw a dragnet around the city? APBs? Code threes? Ten fours? No, we just prefer to start small and then build from there. <laughs> The medical examiner's on line one. He insists on speaking to you. Just tell him to hurry down. I did. Okay. 
Lieutenant Miller. That's right, a male. <laughs> because the book says the medical examiner shall check out all 261 victims. Don't ask me, you're the doctor. <laughs> he wants to talk to you. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> uh, this is the victim speaking. <laughs> no, no, sir, no, I, I don't think an examination would be necessary. Tomorrow for lunch? Well, why, why? Oh, really? Well, yes, well, wonderful, doctor. Sure, I'd, I'd be glad to. I... Fine, fine, I'll, I'll, I'll see you then. It, right. Goodbye, doctor. <laughs> How about that? He wants to interview me for his new book. It's called Everything You Always Wanted to Know About Crimes of Passion But Were Afraid to Ask. <laughs> Oh, this is all filled out here. Sergeant, send two units over to Woodland Park and have them pick up any suspicious females. Take the suspect's descriptions off here. All right, step lively, girls. Come on, let's move. Put it against the wall. Right in there. Blondie, over there. Don't touch me. Oh, boy, will you regret this. You tell them the day they can push us around like second-class females is gone. Now that we're liberated, you have to treat us like second-class men. <laughs> uh, just speak up if you recognize any of them. Yeah, I do recognize one of them, though, the one in the blue coat there. That loudmouth? That's my wife. <laughs> Calvin ordered this stormtrooper to release me. We know each other, huh? Now we're getting someplace. Sergeant, this is Mrs. Pyborn. I mean, you were 261 by your own wife. Uh, Mrs. Pyborn, what were you doing in the park? I wasn't in the park. I was walking in your front door when Colonel Clink here swept me up in his pincer movement. Okay, I'm sorry. Don't touch me. And you're also inefficient out giving traffic tickets while my poor husband is being, being... Uh, 261. Now they've even got a number for that. With all the jogging that you do, couldn't you outrun these awful women? Or did you even try? Uh, not Don't down. touch me! Uh, Lieutenant, could we get started, please? All right, ladies, this is a lineup. You all know why you're here. Why? Suspicion of criminal assault on the person of this man. Him? Him? What's a criminal assault? <laughs> Your time. I've seen her before. That's Bubbles LaJoy, exotic dancer at the Sodom and Gomorrah Club. I've never seen her before. <laughs> You positive? Uh, it was too dark. All right, Sergeant, take them out. Thank you for your time, ladies. Okay, ladies, you can go. You know, you are a typical chauvinistic, anti-female functionary permitting this male to look us over like a herd of cows. But be careful, honey, or I'm going to book you for carrying a concealed weapon. Your tongue. <laughs> Police harassment. I'm going to make a full report to all. All what? A-L-L, -L, Alliance for Ladies' Liberation. <laughs> Debbie's the chairman of our militancy committee. I think we bumped into each other at your last riot. <laughs> yeah. Can I see you out front uh, for a minute? Yeah. I got a hunch those two Bloomer girls were involved in that woman's lib demonstration at City Hall. The one where they burned their bras on purpose in the mayor's office by mistake? <laughs> Well, let's hold him and check it out. What do we charge him with? Suspicion of 261. Pyburn failed to identify him. He was probably afraid. Of them? Of his wife. <laughs> Consider him booked. It uh, was awfully sweet of you to come all the way down here. I'm sorry now that I did. Calvin, this is upsetting to me. Very, very upsetting. Upsetting to you? Look, I'm the one Don't who got... Don't say it. I never want to hear that word again. What was it like 
Don't tell me my own husband victimized by wanton women. Oh, my... Honey, it wasn't all that bad. Stealing around in packs. It wasn't all that bad. I'm Andy Finch, Daily Tribune. Now, you must be the lucky guy. Hold it right there. Wait a minute. You hold it. Who gave you permission to take his picture? Look, lady, this is my beat, and this guy's news. Well, we don't want any publicity. No, wait, 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 wait. What's wrong with a little publicity? Kelvin, there are certain things that one keeps to oneself. Lady, he is America's new sex symbol. <laughs> My story will create such a demand for his services that... What? What? What, what services? Well, personal appearances, TV talk shows, product endorsements, female fan clubs. Really? Wonderful, sure, I, I love it. You, go ahead, uh, take your picture. Take, 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 no, Sheldon, no. I said no. Honey, I am sorry, but a man must do what he must do. Hold it. <laughs> now, let's have your story right from the top. Right. Right on, baby. Well, there I was in the end zone, just minding my own business, when, when all of a sudden up from behind me came these two wanton women. See? You sure? What about that Pyburn character? Check Sacramento. Maybe the state's got a want on him. <coughs> Lieutenant, those Bloomer girls are clean. They're still checking Pyburn. And then they thanked me and they split. Thanked you? <laughs> yeah. They even tried to tip me. Of course, I refused it being tainted money. And all. How come they chose you as their victim? Uh, just luck. Calvin. Well, that's only a figure of speech, honey. I would really like to know what those women saw in you. Well, what do women see in Dean Martin? Animal magnetism, Martin, Bogart, Pieborn, the anti-hero types. I never thought of it that way. There is a certain under-the-skin similarity. You scratch a man like Pieborn and unearth a raging inferno. <laughs> Oh, I gotta make the first edition with this one. Say, the next time you go jogging, remember your friends. <laughs> loose. Disgusting man. Calvin, let's go home. No, no, I, I, I can't. I promise to stay here till we crack this case. Well, I might crack before this case does. You wouldn't be uh, jealous, would you? Jealous? Me? Oh, of whom? Those women in the park. Oh, oh Calvin, don't be ridiculous. Ridiculous. <laughs> if anything, those women are to be pitied. They're sick. Sick? <laughs> I'd sure hate to tangle with them when they're well. Isn't that just a tiny bit jealous? I can't stand the thought of you being with other women. Oh, you mean it? You're actually jealous? Does that tell you anything? Oh, boy. You, you haven't kissed me like that since... Come to think of it, you've never kissed me like that. <laughs> That's just a reasonable facsimile. <laughs> wait till I get you home. Uh, you, you, no, no, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, uh, I'm with you, but uh, just as soon as that lieutenant gets back, I'm... We should call our lawyer. He's in jail. <laughs> then I think we should call our lawyer's lawyer. No hurry. Anytime you get put in jail, it helps the cause. And we become martyrs. As a matter of fact, I really envy those women who assaulted Mighty Mouse. Yeah, I don't. He's too scrawny. I wonder if they'll ever get caught. I hope so. You do? Certainly, it would be absolutely criminal if no one took credit for this crime. Well, if they don't catch them soon, this whole thing is going to blow right over. A milestone event like this just cannot be allowed to die away. Let's take the credit. <laughs> Taking credit for somebody else's crime? That's a crime. <laughs> Look, Carlotta, even if they find the real ones, that pipsqueak is not going to identify them. He is too gutless. They what? Confess to assaulting you. But that's impossible. They, they, uh, what, what, what I mean is, they did? Yeah. 
I hope the judge gives them life. Oh, how long will they get? One to 20. Years? Years. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, Arlene, Arlene, honey, I, I think you'd better go on home alone, huh? No, no darling, I want to be with you. Yeah, I know, sweetheart, but but uh, this confession here sort of changes things. Huh? Well, how? Well, I, I'll, I'll explain later. Please just do as I say, will you? Well, if you insist, Tiger. <laughs> I'll wait up for you. <laughs> Take good care of me. Uh, Lieutenant, I also have a confession to make. Those women didn't assault me, but nobody assaulted me. Come on, don't give me that. No, I made the whole thing up, really. Look, I've got two females that disagree. Well, they're lying. Highborn people do... People only lie to stay out of jail, not get in. I know, but this is not your run-of-the-mill case. Well, you can say that again. Okay. Okay, you made it up. Why? My wife was taking me for granted, and I did it to make her jealous. Jealous? For that, you stand the police department on its ear and give us the runaround? You're in big trouble, buddy. I'm sorry. Not half as sorry as you're gonna be. Yeah. I uh, just got the report back on Piper. He's clean. Was clean. Sergeant, bring in those two bloomer girls as soon as they finish dictating their confessions. You. Uh, Lieutenant? Well, what happens to me now? Well, they say they did. And you say they didn't. Under the law, the accused has the right to face the accuser. And since I'm no longer certain who is which, we're going to have a little confrontation. I say we assaulted you. And I say you didn't. What do you know? I did everything. I'm the victim. I know I'm not the victim. And nobody is the victim because it never happened. That's what you say. It's two against one. Admit it. We assaulted you. <laughs> Oh, what's the use? These are your confessions, girls. Do you stand by them? Yes. Then you couldn't have committed the crime. You state the incident took place near the swimming pool. That's right. Well, your partner claims it happened in the teeter-totter area. The teeter-totter area? <laughs> Carlotta, where did you get that? I forgot what you told me to say. Oh. You're all three guilty of providing false information, which is a very serious offense. Besides making monkeys out of us, you cost the taxpayers a lot of money. Well, I'd be glad to pay you for your time. Just get out of here. Just get out of here. All three of you. Well, we're free? But, 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 Where do you, you get off telling us that we're free? Carlotta, he's trying to rob us of our one chance to be famous. <laughs> Sweetheart, you should have thought of that before you neglected to assault anybody. Come on, Sergeant. <laughs> Nobody got assaulted? Then that means... Carlotta, that means we can still be the first. And all we need is a victim. <laughs> Hi, dear. Happy birthday. A rose for every wonderful year you've lived. Come back. 